Hey everybody, uh, so today's lesson is going to be a kit set version of all these things that I've done by the Killers. Um, there's a main part, which is four G's, two C's and two G's, uh, which is the bulk of the song goes like that. Um, so even though that's not where the song starts, I'm going to start with that. Um, the other thing that happens regularly in the song, about a couple of times, is change from two E minors to two C's before going back to your regular bit. Okay, so I'm going to play through the regular bit first. It goes four G's, two C's, and two G's, like this. play that you can play most of the song basically uh, so I'm gonna go through that one more time uh, we go four G's two C's two G's then I go straight to the two E minors and the two C's um, you can practice that and then we'll have a look at the intro all right one, two, So if you can play that, you can play about two thirds of the song. Most of the song, the verses and the choruses, just consist in that G to C change. The intro is a little bit different, and the outro is a little bit different. Uh, so we'll start with the intro, because it's pretty easy. Um, here are the chords. So you can see we've got four Gs in total there. Two Cs, and go G, D, E minor, E minor, two C's and then at the bottom where I put that G dot 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 that's actually where the song starts um, okay so all you actually have to do for the intro is strum once count to four so it will sound like this So I'll do that again. Remember, here's your pattern. Four Gs in total. Two Cs. G, D. E minor, E minor, C, C. And then we're away. Okay. It'll sound like this. One, two, three. under control we can go from there to the end of the song at the end of the song 
uh, we have the bit where everything sort of stops and we're singing I got soul but I'm not a soldier 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 etc. Okay now the pattern there is exactly the same as what we were doing throughout most of the song four G's two C's and then two G's. The difference is we're going to do them as power chords. Now to play the power chord you only need two fingers so you're going to have your index finger on the third fret of the E string. You're going to have probably your little finger or maybe your ring finger if you have longer fingers on the fifth fret on the A string. So that's your power chord G. To make a power chord C it's exactly the same pattern but one string down, so we have our index finger on the 3rd fret, A string, and we have either a ring or a little finger on the 5th fret, D string. Now if you rest just that bit of your hand on there, you'll get that muting sound, and we're still doing the same strumming pattern, so it's just 8 downs, 1, 5, 6, seven. And that's the sound we should be making. Okay, so to play the pattern, remember it's 4 Gs, two C's, another two G's. So it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four, two C's coming up. One, two, then two G's. And that's it. So through that whole bit we were singing, I got so but I'm not a soldier. I got so Last thing to learn is the outro. The outro still has the same strumming pattern as the rest of the song, um, but it's got a different sequence of chords. So here we have two E minors, two A minors, two C's, and a D that stops. Then we go four G's, four E minors, C, C, D, D, and a G that stops. So the whole thing should sound like this. One, two, three, four. through one more time. Uh, there's going to be a separate video showing you how all these different pieces fit together to actually make up the song. Alright, <coughs> so here we go with the outro one more time, starting with two E minors. One, two, three, four. Um, have a go at each bit separately, um, and once you feel like you've got them going pretty well, we'll have a look at how it all fits together to make the whole song. <laughs>